How's it going, Reef Keepers? Hope everybody's having a good week. I uh, wanted to go ahead and just do an overview video of the latest major upgrade that I have done to my system, which is to swap out the Radeon G6 uh, XR15 Pro units that I had as the main drivers for lighting on this system and go ahead and implement the Refi Uno 2.0 Pro, three of them, as my main drivers. So these are the Refi Uno 2.0 Pro lights that I have recently installed uh, right on my Ecotech RMS bar because luckily Refi provides uh, a bracket system for 10 bucks that allows you to retrofit their lights onto the Ecotech RMS bar, which is great. And because the form factor is fairly similar to the Radeon, I didn't have to do you know anything goofy with my Quanta Pros. They still sit as they always have on this little magnetic mounting system that I created for them. So that's perfect. So to get a close up, on these lights, which they're black, so it's kind of difficult to see them, but they've got uh, a pretty serious heat distribution system, a really powerful fan, and some really powerful componentry that you can check out on their website to disperse heat, and that's good because these are powerful units, more powerful than Radeons. Not that I will run them, you know, at least on this system, to their full potential, but it's nice to know that the components inside are not gonna get cooked or anything like that over time. Um, so yeah, they've got a grill on either side to disperse the heat from, and then a fan system up on top with a really beefy looking fan on the interior. Um, then uh, on the bottom, this is actually a pane of solid glass that goes across the bottom of it to protect from salt spray. And you can just make out, and I decided I'm gonna go deeper into the screen on these in future videos, so I didn't go into it, or I didn't wanna turn them on for this video, but there's this little OLED screen on the very front of each unit, and that screen displays stuff like fan speed, uh, you know, your network strength, what network you're connected to, um, you know, various information about how to connect to the light, that kind of thing, which is an interesting touch. But when you turn them off, you can't even see the screens, you know, unless you're up really close, which is nice. You can toggle them on and off and you can do that and control all the other channels of the light and the intensity of the light and the scheduling of the light and everything like that through, amazing in this day and age, Wi-Fi, right? So that's something that like, I really didn't have uh, with the Radeon that I missed was just the ability to hook up the Radeons to my Wi-Fi and go ahead and control them because I found Bluetooth, which is what the Ecotech Radeon utilizes to connect to its app, to be pretty weak, right? I have some issues with the scheduling for these lights, um, you know, but I'll, again, I'll get into those deeper in a future, um, in a future episode. So let's take a look at the box just so you guys can see what it comes in. Nice solid box. And on, oh, take a look at this. Three year warranty. Pretty amazing, right? So in the box, along with a super, super beefy driver, um, uh, power brick, you get, interestingly, instruction booklet, but interestingly, you get two sets of reflectors. This one comes attached to the unit, okay? And then there's another one that allows you to spread out the light better. And that one I have already swapped on to the bottom of each unit. And what those do is they create little concave wells that the LED sits up in. And these wells, which you can see right here, either focus the light or create a wider distribution for the light. And there's four little bolts that you pop off and then you lay this up on the LED board and then you pop those four bolts in. It took me no longer than three, four minutes to do that to each unit, which I think is incredible because it allows you to kind of create the sort of light you wanna create right out of the box. You don't have to worry about like, you know, potentially having to adjust height or add units or subtract units or you know whatever, angle units certain ways, you can just adjust spread 
instantly to what you would like. And I believe there's even another option that you can purchase for like $15 on the Refi Labs website. So, um, which is kind of an outlier, but the two most common spread options they include right in the box, which is incredible. So the other amazing thing about these lights that made them so easy to install, and I can't believe it's not standard on every reef light, is that this connection point right there in the back, you can just unplug it from the actual light itself. So you don't have to like, you know, struggle with cordage, unwinding it through things. And you know, it, like everyone will know if they've mounted a light and then had to unmount that light with a cord that is permanently attached to the back of the unit, how awful that is. And this solves it. It's just an elegant, simple solve for that problem. So um, the appearance, which unfortunately, <laughs> I've got my Coral lens on here and I turned on the light overhead in the room and the, it doesn't like the overhead light on and the lights of the tank on at the same time. I don't think my phone knows what to do with it. If you rewind it to the very beginning of the video, you will see very close to what I see in appearance, which is like this luminescent, like light, high definition, like almost like purple blue, which I think is super beautiful. And this is the appearance of the light with all channels at 100%. So I had all, if you rewind it and see the beginning of the video when the lighting was better, before my camera got confused, um, it was, that's basically how it looks to me in real life is this beautiful, like, you know, like purpley blue with all channels at 100%, which is awesome. So yeah, considering that you get a two reflectors that you can change, um, so you can change the spread of the light right out of the bag and then uh, you get Wi-Fi connectivity, right? Which is amazing. Um, it shouldn't be amazing. It should be standard in 2024, but you get it. And then you get the ability to unplug the lights in the back. You get a light that's more powerful than a Radeon that has this nice glass shielding on the bottom of it, solid construction. Oh, let me show you. Also, have a look at the drivers for these things. I got some cord cleanup to do back here. Those three uh, steel units right there, big, strong, beefy steel power bricks for these things. It's a pretty amazing package for $480 versus the Radeon's $530. I think that it's a better value. Um, also worth noting, I also wanted to get rid of the Radeon's because they had randomly dropped in intensity on three separate occasions with like no, no, nothing that I had done. I hadn't even been in Mobius for like weeks between these incidents. And I, it was just happening, not at any predictable clip, but over the course of three months, three random times, the lights dropped in intensity. And I was just like, all right, I can't really trust these at this point. I made a video about it happening the first time. You can find that if you wanna you know, learn more about that if you have Radeons and you're worried hearing that because um, it worried me. So I'm going to sell the three Radeons, but before I sell them, I am going to run extensive testing of one of these lights versus the last XR15 before I ship it out after it's sold. Um, so you be on the lookout for that content. I'm going to compare them in terms of strength and spread and, you know, get my PAR meter in the tank and it, it, we're, we're going to, you know, basically do it all out with uh, testing this light versus the Radeon G6. So all right, guys, super happy with it. Um, I think it's a great deal and uh, I'm excited to get into it and show you guys some more uh, in future videos. So hope everybody's having a good week. Have a good one.